Okay. All right, this is just going to be a little quick video on how I make my regular Claptons. I have a method for fused Claptons, but that's not going to work for this situation. So here's some example of my Claptons. As you can see, they wrap perfectly every time. And um, this is actually what I use when I don't use this method. As you can see, there's a few imperfections versus what method I use all the time. And that wraps it perfectly. It practically wraps itself. So I have my inner core wire that is a uh, 24 gauge, yes. And my outer core wire, I'm using 34 gauge. So what I'm gonna do is take my 34 gauge right here, and I'm gonna slightly, just gently, unscrew the chuff, chuck of the drill, which I can't seem to get at the moment. So I'm gonna do that now, there we go. So we work a little bit of this 34 gauge in through the chuck. Leave a little bit. Now you can bend the lead at the end that goes in the chuck and uh, wrap it around. I'm okay with that method. You can do that. But I personally don't like it. I don't know why. I just find that the, it get, the outer wire gets loose very easily. So I put the chuck in. Put it in the chuck. It stays in place. And close it literally as tight as you can go. Especially if you have a crap drill like mine. If you can still tighten it, it's not tight enough. Okay, so that's as tight as it goes. And then, oh, yeah, it's still moving. Alright, we're going to do it. Put some backs into it. If it can't go no more, if it can go any at all, that means it's not enough tension. So you want tension on this. And then you just start. Oh, Jesus. See what I mean? So let's see if I can just fix this by wrapping it around there. And you just start a little bit on your own. It does not have to be perfect. As long as a little bit is wrapped on. All right, then you wanna spool up this outer wire so that way there's some tension and it won't spin over the core wire and cause knots and loops and stuff that will ruin it. Because with thin gauge wire like this, if you have any sort of knot or loop, it will snap as soon as you're clapping it on there. So, I have some tension on the wire, making sure it doesn't unspool, primarily. Now, what I use is a little bit of a matchbook, as you can see, from matches. However, you can also, I've learned this trick with a business card. So, what you do is you want to keep it down, perpendicular, put this over, and then spin it, and hold tight. Extremely tight. Be very, very, very tight on the outer wire. If you let go too loose, it won't wrap fully. I feel the end coming up. There we go. That's the end. So I look. I'm going to spool back up my 34 gauge because this stuff runs out very quickly. You don't want to waste a lot of it. And it's also really hard to work with. So, oh, it already it even cut itself. Look at that. So I'm going to set that to the side not lose it as you can see you get a perfect core you get a perfect clapton out of that so that's this right here is what i started with and then this is the perfect core basically a perfect clapton that wrapped itself so i'm sorry that i can't focus on this because uh samsung galaxy's s7's phones don't like macro shots so i'm going to see if i can get any focus on that and it's hard to see you know what can you do there we go you can see there is no imperfections at all in that Clapton except for that beginning. Let's see if I can zoom in on that and focus at all. Probably not, I guess. There we go. You can see no real imperfections. So that's how I wrap my Clapton wires. There is a technique for fused Claptons using swivels, but everyone knows that technique. That's just what I use to wrap single core Claptons perfect every time. So all you need is a business card 
or you know something cardboard made out of like cardboard or tough paper that way you could and then you just hold that outer wire very very tightly full force and just full spin on the drill and it wraps itself perfectly thank you